everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which provides over a hundred copy and paste code snippets for non-coders and beginner coders to use code in Squarespace. And today we are talking about page speed, specifically what is the biggest killer of page speed? And no, it's probably not your code. Unless you have a ton of code on your site or some you know, intense JavaScript, um, you're, it's probably not your code that's slowing down your site. CSS generally renders quite quickly and so you'd need a lot and a lot and a lot of CSS or poorly written CSS in order for that to be affecting your page speed. Um, so that is probably not what it is. Um, most likely what it is is your images and so we're going to talk today about the my favorite page speed tool to test with and also then what to do if it is your images that are slowing down your site. So this is Pingdom Tools or tools.pingdom.com. I've provided a link in my blog. And this is what I like to use when I test a website. The reason being a lot of other tools provide so much information that the average website designer um, it's just going to stress them out, but also there's not really much you can do about a lot of it that's up to the platform that you're using, in our case, Squarespace. Um, that doesn't mean Squarespace is bad for SEO, but just that there's some things that are out of our control. And so by having all these suggestions, it can really confuse you. Um, and so I like to use Pingdom Tools to do this test. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to Pingdom Tools and you're gonna type in a URL to test that page's time. So if you type in your home page URL that's only going to test your home page. It doesn't give you sort of a overall look at your whole website. It just gives you um, a look at your home page. So you'll need to put in all of your URLs or at least the ones that you feel are loading slowly and look at it page per page. So for instance, let's just look at Google's. We're going to put that in. You can test from different locations and just click start test. And there's two things I want you to look at in here. So you can kind of ignore everything else. You're gonna look at two particular things in your results, and that is your page size and your load time. The best thing for page size is to keep it below 500 megabytes. Um, and generally, if you're keeping it below that size, your load time will be okay, unless you have um, some sort of heavy um, applications you've embedded, or if you're, um, I don't know, you have JavaScript or something that's moving things around. Generally, if you're able to keep your page size quite low, your load time will be good as well. So that's the first thing to look at is that your page size is less than 500 megabytes. The second thing to look at is your load time. Um, generally, people recommend less than two seconds. That for me is quite fast and I find that if you can keep it below three seconds, you're doing good. Um, if you start to get to four, five, six seconds, then there is a problem there as well. So if one of these is off, what you're going to do is skip past all of this and come down to the content size by content type here, and it will tell you which part of your website is making up the biggest chunk. Um, for most people, if you have a really slow site, images will probably be at the top. That's generally the biggest killer when I've looked at client sites. If it's slow, it's most likely because their images are taking up a huge amount of the website content and that is what is slowing down your site. You may see script come up if you do have a lot of JavaScript and things like that, but for the most part, it's going to be your images. And if you really want to get fancy, you can come in here and click through and see what is taking the longest time. Um, some sites like Google and stuff have hidden this from the public, um, but your site will probably be open and you can click through and see what is taking the longest time to load. It might even give you specific images or links that are holding that page back. So if you determine that yes, it is your images, your site is too bulky, you need to bring your images down, then there are a few steps you should follow before uploading any photos to your Squarespace website to ensure that they're not going to be too large and slow down your site. So the first thing that you're going to want to do 
is to open up your image. Now I'm working on a Mac. If you're working on a PC, it might be slightly different, but I'm going to open this image and I'm going to go to tools, adjust size. And in here I can see the height and width in pixels of my image. Now I've already made it 1500. My recommendation, if it's a banner image or a background image, um, you can go maybe up to 2,500 pixels on the longest side, um, but most images I keep to 1,500 and they're perfectly fine in terms of resolution. But if you have like a face or something like that in it, you want it to be you know super crisp quality, you might want to go up to 2,500, but you don't generally need to go larger than that unless you are a photographer or something like that that you want to make sure it's really, really crisp. Otherwise, 1,500 pixels is probably fine. Then down here I can see how big it is. So it's 241 kilobytes. Um, so the general goal is to keep it under 500, um, but even if it's smaller, I still like to compress it. So once I've changed the longest side to be about 1,500 pixels, I'll click OK. And then I'm going to go to compressjpeg.com and I'm going to drag it in here it's going to compress it for me and then I can download it. Okay, and if we look at the size now, it is now 206. It was already quite small, so it didn't compress it too much, but again, I, I want it to be less than 500 kilobytes. I'm also going to name it something using my keywords and this will help with your SEO as well. So don't just name it, you know, JPEG one, two, three, four, five. You want to make sure you name it using some keywords and then it will be ready to upload to your Squarespace site. So you're going to change the size of the height and width and compress it and name it. And now it is ready to upload to your site so that it is not going to slow down your page and harm your SEO. And that is it. That is how you can test your pages for their speed and how to prepare your images so they are not harming your page speed and therefore your SEO. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel or sign up for the freebie in my footer so that you could be notified when I post a new tutorial.